All right, guys, as you can see here, behind all this cellulose, we've got some closed cell foam, which you can kind of see peeking out there at the bottom. And then cellulose, screen fiber cellulose sprayed on top of all that. And then you can see like right here, one of these knee walls, one of our favorite places to not put fiberglass because it's actually got to keep really hot attic air out of the house where it may be 130 in that attic and 70 in here, giving us a delta T or a difference in temperature of about 60, creating a really high driving force where that heat's really going to get into the house. So we got to really beef that wall up. So come check out the backside. So as you can see up there, we've hung a foam board with a radiant barrier on the backside of it. And then we sprayed our cellulose on top of that. Putting that foam board up there helps provide what gives us a thermal break to help that heat not be able to even to move through the studs as well. And then we've got that wall beefed up so it can really help us protect it from that heat inside that attic. I can't stress enough, that's the last place you wanna put a fiberglass bat and that's where we see them most often because it's easy to insulate a wall that's got a sheeting already on it and it's really easy to put a bat in something that doesn't. So you really need to take the time, buy the foam board, hang it, and give you that better protection from that attic air.